minors and the amount of passing attempts that they have with Brock Purdy, um, which is a little bit concerning because he is towards the bottom of the league in passing attempts, but throwing multiple interceptions the last couple games. Um, do you think that the 49ers need a more balanced offensive approach? I think the last time I was, we were on together, I was kind of talking about the 49ers identity and about their dominant defense and physicality. But a big thing that I brought up was their run game, game and how important their run game is. George Kittle on multiple interviews now over the bye week has suggested that he thinks that the reason that the offense wasn't performing well is because their run game has been stagnant. And my kind of solution to that was like, all right, you guys need to fix the run game. You need to get Jordan Mason involved, hopefully with Debo back. That'll open up some room for Christian McCaffrey, stuff like that. But maybe there's like a different side to it. Maybe the solution should be like, hey, actually, you guys should have a better passing attack so that if you can't rely on the run game, you have a different way to win because you you need multiple way to multiple ways to win in the NFL if you want to go far. So how do you feel about the the 49ers offensive philosophy? this year and maybe just under Kyle Shanahan in general? Yeah, I think the word balance is an interesting word. I mean, when you talk about balance overall, there are different ways that you can attribute that word. Right now, the 49ers are running the ball 50% of the time and throwing 50% of the time. It's just in a league that now a days has prioritized passing. That ranks 31st in the NFL in terms of passing play percentage behind the Baltimore Ravens. And so... You know, it, it depends on what you see as balance. To me, a, a quote that I've gotten from people that I've talked to, um, you know, that play football and things like that, they say balance is not necessarily running and passing. It's more so getting the ball to your playmakers. And luckily, well, other teams don't have a Christian McCaffrey. Maybe the 49ers do overutilize him, which can be a concern that I am willing to hear out because I've illustrated those concerns at times myself. But I also think if you look at the last three games, I thought the 49ers went away from the run a little bit. And I thought that their inefficiencies in the run game were the reason that their offense couldn't really get going as much and therefore only score 17 points. I think you can raise questions about Brock Purdy and his ability to carry an offense because in the two opportunities he's had thus far this year, it hasn't worked out. The 49ers haven't been able to pull out the victory. He's thrown multiple interceptions. He's thrown five in the three losses, right? And so I think you can point out those kind of issues that the 49ers have undergone. So I, I, I do think that there is some cause for concern, but I don't know if them choosing to throw the football more is the solution. And I also don't know if just because other teams are throwing the football more doesn't mean that their version of balance has to revolve around that as well because they do have one of the best if not the best running backs in the NFL in Christian McCaffrey and a scheme that is set up by utilizing the run game and utilizing play action I think that you can definitely have questions about it but I, I do think that I don't know if this is the issue for the 49ers it's more so execution and I also thought in the losses it was going away from the run game and the run game not being as efficient I think that's I think that's an excellent point. If you if you're looking for solutions for how they should make their run game more more effective, do you think it's as simple as adding in Jordan Mason? Um, do you think that they could do something? Do, oh, I have a question for you. Do you think over the bye week someone sat down with Jordan Mason and made him learn the pass protection? <laughs> because apparently that's the reason, right, that he's not getting in. I think that's one I of the reasons, like and I don't think that. I mean, I think that that's something they probably talked about for. All. <laughs> excuse me, talked about for a good amount of time. Um, so, I mean, I think that that could be one thing, but I also don't think one by, one week of work, um, you know, amounts to just an overwhelming amount of trust. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, you do hope they use their backups more just to give, alleviate some of the pressure off McCaffrey because he gets a lot, he gets the most touches per game in the NFL when he plays. And so you do hope that, you know, some of those issues are alleviated. And you hope also the bye week helps him get healthier. 